She was shy in the month of hearts, hiding from my scented letters, a sun-dappled cure for my loneliness. She was smiling in the month of rain, eating figs straight from the tree, a dream of sailing around the isles. She was wed in the month of clans to her sailor cousin from Coleto, a shrill bird drilling at my chest. She was dying in the month of songs, struck by a disease from the east, a terrible kiss on her distant lips. That, the, I, that's bad. Durin and Gwen. There's a heart thing over there. Um, well, we survived. We're not supposed to go there. Can I go away from here? I cannot. Right there. Okay, we took care of them. A little bit worse for wear, but, you know, sacrifices and all that. <laughs> that makes noise. Oh. Is that all it takes? I think it is all it takes. This is the security panel. Oh, freaking hell. The rats have gone in. The rats are gonna eat you, dude. Right? Oh no, this guy's coming here. Is he? No, no, Your face, dude. Your face. Did you see his face? Did you? S I, I'm worried about the rats. Is it normal for the rats to be there? I thought he was coming here to replace this, because, you know, it makes sense. So there's another one. Going around in there. And this, this is these two guys. If I can't find more darts, I'm not going to be able to take them out. Even if I do find more darts, I might still not be able to take them out. Oh, I, f I remember this song. It's a sailor song, I think. Please don't turn. Shh. Over here. I don't know whose house this is, but it is big. Oh, there's a guy coming. I don't think it's coming this way. Uh, if he's the only one coming here. The other guy's got his back turned. Oh, this is good. This is good. Obey the city watch. Tempering with security devices is punishable by death. Okay, so where is he going? He's looking this way. He's going right there. That's well, bad news. Is it on? What's it look like? Slow off, Go on. Toss the camera at already. <laughs> They're telling the best jokes over there. Okay. 
I wonder if it's the same person that came. They all look the same. And they all sleep in the same spot. Okay. That's the guy. I think. Can't see from here. Oh, the other guy's looking this way. Who's? Oh. Mm, there we go. There you go. Perfect. Now you sleep over here. But there's another one. I can't tell where he is. Oh, they're on the other side. Are they all on the other side? Maybe. Should be well hidden. Okay, so that unhooks that. He's talking to somebody. They really don't care that this thing gets turned off. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. You sleep here. Crap, I threw you. You better not be visible. I don't think he is. Okay, I think this is this should be a lot safer now. What are these locations up here? We haven't been up here. Oh. Yeah, we've been over there. Just not up here. Don't mind my double jump, that's just how I do. Ooh. The eradication of Black Sally. Before Slackjaw ran the streets in the distillery district, there was no boss more ruthless, violent, or dedicated to squeezing the average citizens for coin than Black Sally. Like so many from Morley, she was pale-skinned and green-eyed, with hair as black as the void. They say that she started young, and as a girl, she'd stun a man with her looks coming upon him in an alley, then smile a one-sided smile and suddenly run him through with a knife. She'd have his money and be on her way before he breathed his final breath. As a boss, she was worse, ruling over the meanest street gang Dunwall had, sen had seen up to that time. Her operation touched everything from shipping to prostitution. She even had a rocket going with the Baker's Guild, a finger in every pie indeed. One man, watch Captain Jules Rubin, made it his mission to stop her and kept the case going for half a decade. Black Sally met her end when Rubin had his men light smoke fires in barrels near the warehouse where she hid out during the day, and she and her gang rushed into the streets, terrified the building was burning. Captain Rubin and his top officers threw nets over them and ran them all through with blade and pistol shots. That was... That was, uh... That was an ending. There is a... There's something up here. Isn't there? There is. Nothing. There's nothing up here. Dr. Galvani's offices. Well... At least we're supposed to be here. I don't need to do this, do I? No. Oh, there's another entrance. Sure. Let's go. Break into Dr. Galvani's flat. Search for a sample of infected rat viscera. So we're gonna kill people, just not with knives. Yeah. Ganker Mouth Golf Map. In a safe.
puzzle time, I suppose. Ooh. Money. Okay. So the first thing is seeing if anybody is around. The second, actually, is going into our... Oh, we have bone charms. Throwing hand. You throw carried objects a bit farther. It's not half bad. The second is actually increasing our dark vision. We can't. But I'm going to do that if I can. What about this place? The river rushed in when the barrier broke. A whole district went dark. No. Oh, I think the... I think the heart might talk to us depending on how many... How many uh, charms we have. Maybe. Yeah, you can blow the candles, just not the fireplaces. Okay, so there's some- Wait, did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. It's poop. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. It's poop. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats and they carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Ayer's new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. So not... Okay. No, nope, don't do that. I wanted to close the door. Okay. There you go. Right next to that thing. I'm sure rats are going to come out of that. <sighs> okay. We want to pay attention, very close attention to... Nasty, filthy... Yeah. Look at this watch. We're going to play very close attention to all of the things. Stupid goddamn is coming. Okay. Because we need to figure out what the key is. Hmm. Hmm. Breaking and entering, you know. Travel to Bandicia. The men I set out with are good sailors. No doubt half of them have cut their teeth on the rascally pirate ships spawned in the Serconan archipelago. Or they were, I should say. Half of them died before we sighted the broken red cliffs, welcoming those who would visit the far continent as it is called. Sickness, infighting, poisoned by a school, or would one say a flock of small fish that fly over the waves like birds, landing in the hundreds across the deck, pricking any they touched with toxic quills, two thrown overboard by gusting demon winds. The quiet Tevian navigator simply dead in his bunk, wrapped in his white furs, eyes wide with terror. Few have crossed the ocean in the distance to Pandicia is greater than most would imagine. More died climbing the cliffs, and now with but a handful, I stand looking across the greatest expanse of land that exists. My allies are frightened, for this is beyond them, and now their captain is dead too. Stung by something that resembled a prairie mole, but reacted with great apoplectic outrage when handled. So it falls on me to lead them. Don't touch creatures. That tends to be a good thing. 
here, rat? There you go. Can't eat you. It's only the white ones. Hmm. I do think that they might come out. Oh, there's another one. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it brings my mana up a little. I need my health to go up. Not mana. This is the other area. Okay. So no info here about the safe. Not that I can see. So this guy is just up there. Not a big deal. But I do want to be careful. Because I can get him. It's a good thing he wasn't looking. It's a damn good thing he wasn't looking. And we're getting all the keys. And there's nobody on this level. So you'll just stay there. Let's go upstairs. I would say there's nobody on this level either. Apart from the little ratsies. Spring razors. Sure thing. Hmm. Terrible creature. I wonder if this is part of a puzzle or something. When cleaning my study, I ask that you constrain your efforts strictly to the floors. Please, at all costs, refrain from attempting to clean or arrange my bookshelf. In fact, it would be best to keep away from it altogether. Otherwise, I'll have to reconsider the terms of your employment. Since I'll be out of the city for a few days, I've left next week's pay as well. The bank was closed, so I'm afraid it's short by half. You can count on me for the remainder next week, of course. And now we have the key. And probably are gonna get the pay, still the pay of of the employees. Hello. Okay. Rat Visser is over there. I want to be careful that there are no rats that will actually attack me. I can drink? It is healing me. Nice. Not that it matters. Some teacups. Just some stuff. How do I get back there? The latest case should arrive within a week, containing all the components you need. Be careful with the white phosphorus. Can't have you getting fossy jaw like the tanners at the edge of the city, poor bastards. Sorry you have to practice in secret. The vivisectionists should, should be celebrated, revered even. Cutting up rats should be done in the town square in, with a crowd of eager students taking notes, not in some dirty little secret room hidden behind a wall of books. Anyway, lucky for you to have an old friend who never left the academy. Let me know what else you need, but remember it might be a month before I can put together another shipment. Next time you're nearby, come in for an afternoon. We've stayed fairly insulated from the plague since so few come and go here. And we've got quite a st the stock of Tevian brandy. Will I be able to take it? 287, that's the password. There's a whale. Whale physiology. 287. Bull rot fetus. Ugh. Let's go for the safe then. <coughs> oh, there's people. 
they're downstairs. I'm not running or anything. So it should be fine. A little bit of money. Not over much. But a little, a little bit nonetheless. And there's more stuff. Audiograph player. Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat. But in what respect? In size and the coarseness of its fur. And I believe in intelligence. Although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat. Which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. Money. Also, rat behavior and extermination. Used to be you'd go out with a bag, a stick with a nail on the end, and catch as many rats as you could in a night. The city watch paid by weight. My husband Benjamin and I mostly worked alone and we got by. If we found a place where the rats were real bad, sometimes we'd hire a crew of street rats to work with us, the younger ones who didn't make trouble. We'd pay them with bread and apple cider. Once the plague came, the rats were different, meaner, bigger, and a little quicker. You had to watch yourself. If you got cornered, they'd turn and the swarm would come back at you. I barely got away with my skin a few times down in the sewers. The bites hurt afterward, but it was the sound they made that stayed in your dreams at night. It got more dangerous and the city watch started paying better, but that didn't last long because after a while too many people had been stripped clean, trying to fill up a bag. One slip and they'd be all over you, gnawing and trying to chew down to the bone. That's how I lost my poor Benji. And we got a bone shard journal. Added. Do we actually have a bone shard? For over a year, I've studied this curse plague, collecting the, and dissecting rats by the thousands. Given their rapid gestation and maturation cycle, it's been possible to breed them for numerous generations. The rodents themselves seem immune to the plague, but they pass it readily between members of their own species, perhaps through mites. The blood of the rats tells its own story, allowing me to gauge the number of generations that a given group of rats has lived with the plague. As such, a nagging question remains. The rats collected in the poorest part of town, in the slums, exhibit the oldest strains of the plague, while those found near the docks, where the foreign plague-bearing rats would presumably have entered our city, exhibit a younger strain of plague. Could this mean that the rats were transported to the slums in some way that is not obvious? I will continue my research. If nothing else, I am leaving proof that Sokolov's elixir and Piero's remedy are very effective at protecting against the plague, if one consumes enough of the stuff. Interesting. That they're actually efficient at that. Where does this go? No secret passages or anything. Newspaper clippings on the walls. The Leviathan's Sorrow. Little is known of Bacotti, credited with this series of pamphlets arguing against the whaling trade. While he is gifted, his views are nonsense and threaten the economic underpinnings of the empire. Number one, enslavement on the breeding and husbanding of whales versus hunting the beasts in the wild after, quote, a natural and free cycle, uh, life cycle, unquote. Bacotti offers no solutions for where these massive malevolent creatures might be, quote, pastured, unquote. Dissolution. Laments on the destruction of, so, quote, social, unquote, bands between herd members. Pacotti actually uses the term, quote, families, unquote. Number three, harmony. Drivel on the, quote, aesthetic wonder, unquote, of what is, in reality, the great and terrible ocean that ever threatens to swallow us. Includes arguments on the, quote, gentle nature, unquote, of the brutes, a notion refuted by seamen who return to shore wide-eyed with tales of the whales' savagery. Number four, disruption. Here, Pacotti is on his weakest footing, issuing up feverish warnings against the displacement or transference of natural beasts from their native environments. Interesting. Interesting, that the take, I should say. And there's a key here as well that I absolutely missed. Also bread that I absolutely have to take. 
Now, how do I open you? That's how I open you. A little bit of money. A little bit of spiritual remedy. Sewer capacity in the month of nets, I believe. I've been asked to tell the problem, so here it is. It's been every year that we work like men got mad during the months of nets. I don't hardly see my family. It's bad enough that the works is clogged with trash from the catch, pieces of crates and nets, but the water smells of hagfish guts too. We got to get it done before the month of rain, or you know what. And it ain't like we get help from those pricks in civil engineering either. Been at this job for nigh on 28 years and I never seen one of them come below except to measure will it hold when they go putting up one of their fancy new bridges. So these last three years been the worst, and here's why. It's the river crusts moved into the works. We hear a man ahead yell and scream like it's burning up, and we all climb up fast. No other choice. Is that the fish that bit my butt? I think it's the fish that bit my butt. I don't like the fish that bit my butt. Let's take that. Okay, and now this for the still. We know where the still is, though. Uh, and... Uh, well, we know what the journal also has to tell us. It's the quest objective. But we're not done in here. 